There it is. There it is. Oh yeah. Fighting good. There we oh yeah, there we go. 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 Oh nice one. Nice one. Whoa. Oh good, he's alive. What is up YouTube fam, TJP Fishing Outdoors. I'm back. I was on vacation. And uh, anyway, so that, that little uh, sleeping video, that was really just for me to watch. But um, if you want to check it out, sleep to it, that's great. But uh, we are at the Wally World and we're going to be picking out four of the cheapest lures we can find. I'll pick two, she'll pick two. Um, so we'll head in there. Also, 82% of you guys are not subscribed. So uh, change that around for me, please. So coming in at the verse of the day, we got John 1.1. 1, 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. That's pretty deep. Take that verse with you. So without further ado, let's go into Wally World, pick out the four cheapest lures we can find in here. Alrighty guys, so we made it into Walmart, and I was looking around. And I think uh, I found the cheapest soft plastics we can find, the hammer hog. So I've actually never tried the Ozark Trail one, but if you uh, know any tips on it, let me know. So that's one. I'll pick one, she'll pick one. Until she picks another one, I'm going to look around um, for a crankbait, moving bait. So there's a little minnow jerk bait thing or a rattle trap. I'm gonna go with the one fifth ounce Ozark Trail minnow. That's gonna be the choice for my two. She's looking in the dollar box. All right, so she's picked in the dollar box the dollar spinner bait here. I used to use these all the time because I'm falling on a budget, but uh, we're going to try it out, so. Alrighty, so with her final pick, we got in this totally awesome box down here for the Strike King, the Strike King Super Glue in a black, so. I've honestly never fished just a regular soft plastic frog, but we're gonna try it. So I will be fishing. I'll have to go home later today. So we got our baits. We'll check out. And I'll catch you guys on the water. Alrighty, guys. So we are at the pond, um, and I have lots of faith in all of these. Actually, probably not the jerk bait, but we got the frog rigged up on our little belly weighted hook we got the old hammer hogs rigged up on our texas rig combo and the spinner bait with the little speed worm as a trailer just threw that on there um so yeah i'm gonna try these out hopefully catch a catch a ton of fish i got my 32 inch tournament board that we will be uh measuring the fish on today if we catch any so yeah let's get right into fishing alrighty so got everything I do have a bag that uh, I can put all of this stuff in and just carry it around with me but you know let's do stuff the hard way so hmm, I might try flipping my little jerk bait under there under the dock I've never really had good luck with jerk baits but This little cheap Ozark trail will get me get me going, get me started on my jerkbait journey. Yeah, I doubt that's gonna work. So let's uh I mean this is a big old sucker. So for the fish in this pond, it's gonna be a big meal for them. Probably extremely intimidating, but Oh, that is smexy. The 
this dollar spinnerbait is actually probably amazing. The only thing I would change is the if you have a rubber band to put on that just to keep your knot there but that big Colorado blade gives a whole lot of action to it and it wobbles I don't know most spinnerbaits just stay in a straight line but this one I mean, it's got a lot of action to it so There we, oh yeah, there we go. There we go. Wow. Little guy. Little guy on the, on the old spinnerbait. Just barely got him. Just like that. We'll measure him just for scientific purposes. Got the board here. Over. Yeah, not even 10 inches. So, yeah, I can do all I want, but you're not, you're not even close, Buster. Wow. What in the world? I have this thing like max down. What the heck? Alrighty, so I got re rigged on the Texas rig bait. I just got tired of the freaking jerk bait birds nesting all the time so i just put it up all right if we catch all the fish on these i'm gonna say challenge completed all right so i bit this off hopefully that will help my hookup ratio it's also like four or five o'clock so the top water is not prime time right now His legs are still super long. Oh, couldn't tell. Thought that was a rock. Probably was. Gee, look. I am interested in using this, but we'll try it out. What do you say? Oh. Well, we won't try it out. Uh, and I didn't bring any extra hooks. There it is. There it is. Oh yeah, fighting good. Oh yeah, right there at the bank. Boat flip. Oh yeah. Nice, came right out. We'll measure you. So, up on the board, close your mouth. Eleven and a half. Thanks for playing. Oh, that was... Not where I wanted that at all. There we go. There we go. There we go, baby. Soaked it. Another one. Another one.
in a measure. Hey. Ice dude. So we had under 10, 11 and a half, and another 11 and a half again. So. They got, I mean, they're not skinny. Most of them aren't. They're, you got good bellies on them. So, about 11 and a half inches is what we're looking at. So, you know, like, it's an overpopulation. So just an FYI, I would love to, well, I don't really like school. I graduated from college with the associate degree, but I would love to continue my education, work at a fishery. If anybody knows, I know most of my viewers are not from Illinois, but if you know of any fishery like a fishery tech te, uh, fishery uh like a fishery technician isn't uh doesn't need a bachelor's degree or whatever or anything that will train somebody let me know in the comments or any fishery jobs really around the world because i would love to do that i love the science behind bass fishing so I'd like to use my how the two brain cells I have to be a fishery biologist, go to school for that, a technician, whatever, work at a hatchery. But that's really why I love fishing more than anything, just to study the fish, study the water. Because as you can tell, um, with all of my back lashes, there we go. With all of my back lashes, I'm not the best. So, another one going to be under 10 inches, I can already tell you that. There we go. DJ Khaled. Another one. So, put you on the board. You're not even gonna, oh, nope. Not even 10 inches. This one, the, you know, looks like a juvenile largemouth or kind of a, kind of looks like a spot. Don't it? Y'all let me know. Is that juvenile largemouth or a spot? I mean, it's got spots. It's got a little line up there, but that tongue has a rough patch. And I've just heard that spots are have that rough patch on their tongue. So, oh, well, I was going to switch to the spinner bait, but if it ain't broke, don't fix it. No, I'm saying, come on, baby. There we go. Oh, nice one. Nice one. Whoa! Oh, good. He's alive. Well, I won't measure you, buddy. Hopefully, I... Oh, gosh. You're on this rock wall. Good fish. Good fish right there. Well, um, wow, that was one heck of a hook set, yeah? And he's not floating, so. I just tried to bring him up here, but, uh, 
Ow. <laughs> that was... I've hooked set fish and flung them out of the water, but I've never done that. I do feel bad for you. Why aren't you moving? They're not going to catch another fish because everybody else just saw that one get flung into the heavens. Oh. Oh. Man, it just really feels like I got a fish. And I don't. Let's take it. Cast out deep here. Yeah, just a blind cast in the middle didn't work the best. One dollar spin a bait. This goes to show you don't have to spend a whole bunch of money on baits, but it's really nice. You you know go to right bait, swamp pro lures. Uh oh, also have black bomb fishing and uh, so Guggen baits and pulse fish lures also those will be in the description if i remember put them in there so but yeah you don't have to spend a hundred dollars on baits or a hundred dollars on one bait to catch a fish but it's nice. I mean, you get better quality. You get what you pay for, really. So. Man, it is just dead over here.
Well, that fish ain't floating, so that's good. We'll make a little, we'll make a couple casts in this pocket back here. Head back. Ready guys, so had an epic fails, epic wins, and that's a great day for fishing. I'm gonna call it great, you know. There was a bass that just blew up. I just saw that. That's great. Um, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Be sure to check out everybody in the description. Thank you, all of the bait brands for partnering with me and helping my dream come true. Also, you know, any fishery ideas, anything like that. Um all the size of the bass today so hopefully we can increase those lengths those weights and get it get the pond into a uh, better shape so thank you guys so much for tuning in be sure to like and subscribe and i'll catch you guys on the water peace